What is that? Crisco. What are you doing with that? I'm making murder sauce. What? Hey, Mom. Hi, Rob. What you doing? Well, right now, I'm scraping off the propolis off the top, but I'm going to be putting this here murder sauce, aka Greg Burns' recipe of murder sauce, into the beehive because we have hive beetles. So I'm working yeah. my way down to the bottom board because this gets smeared on the bottom board. So I'm oh, just you gotta cleaning. go. Okay. All right. So I'm let just kind of cleaning the whole hive here. as I'm going. Let me see if we can find any hive beetles on this. Oh, there were plenty oh, look, on there's here. one right here. On the top, Rob. Oh, yeah. We got a bad infestation of these. Yes, I'll look right. another one there. So what Greg had, oh, he had a video on that murder sauce, didn't he? Yes, he did. It's called murder sauce. So you I hope it's got it a fitting name. It has the ingredients for how to make it. It's pink like uh, murder, like like blood, like blood. But um, ours smells like peppermint, don't it? Yeah. Well, he 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 recommends using eucalyptus oil. We didn't have any. I improvised. I don't know if it'll work without eucalyptus oil, but we're going to try it. If it doesn't work, I guess I'll have to do it again. I think it was a hillbilly beekeeper said that uh, peppermint kept them out of hives too. That is true. Peppermint does so, keep them out of hives. That's why we chose that as an alternative, I guess. Correct. But, uh, so they we'll see. peppermint candies on the corners of the hives to help de deter them from entering the hives, which obviously we didn't do, else we wouldn't have this problem to start with. So, hopefully there's not a ton of larvae and stuff of the hive beetles down here on the bottom board. But until I get to the bottom board, I'm not 100% sure. So, here we go. Oh, yeah, look at them. Look at them all. Yep. Look at all the beetles. So, this so was a failed attempt well, that I tried. This was a failed attempt at hive beetle reduction, which did not Oh, work. my goodness, Mom, look. Look. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, we're going to treat this hive with this murder sauce, and then we're going to wait. Okay, I gotta so. squish them. It don't. I don't feel right not trying to kill these things with my finger. So this is the murder die, sauce. Die, die. Greg sauce. Burns is coming for you. Murder sauce is right. simply. Wow, I can't believe I'm here. Put on a little bit in the corners. Do this. Spread it. Get off of there, B. I might lose B. Okay. Now, Greg said that most of the time the bees don't mess with the bottom Look, board, they're chasing these beetles see, around. So says Greg Burns' video. And, well, we trust what Greg Burns is teaching us. So, that's what we're doing. I can't believe how many hive beetles were just on that bottom board. We are infested. And I normally don't have issues like that. I... Things really change once I had a, those packages I bought like two years ago that were loaded with mites. So this was the first attempt. This is a the typical like CD case with diatomaceous earth. And I guess they used it as like an incubation chamber or something. And the bees closed it up. So it didn't do what we thought. Instead, they used probably this cavity underneath to hide from the bees and make more. So to give them time to mature. Anyway. So, uh, that was a failed attempt. That was a fail, but I think we got it now. So we will check this back in a week or two, and we'll bring you an update to see if we've made any progress with our infestation. Now my question.